Okay, should we get started off then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do have some basic ground rules we just would like appreciate you all to follow. So first is respect. Um, please be patient. Um, and finally, demonstrate understanding. The first definition that came to our mind when we thought about terrorism, it's basically any act that will inspire terror. A form of extreme violence um, used for a political purpose. And our meager question was if Western powers should once again intervene in the Middle East. Should states stop funding rebel groups? Is it wrong for Western media to put more emphasis on the attacks in the West? Although it had extreme psychological harm with mothers, families, children all be, being brutally affected. There was this implication that the people who didn't uh, change their profile pictures were somehow um, not sympathising with what was happening in Paris. The Western media on media in general has a duty to report the truth no matter where it's coming from but then we thought that there's something deeper we have to think of uh, it needs there is no black and white definition it in that same vein if they are a state and they're considered a terrorist group why can't the United States uh, Britain France who are, which are also all states be considered terrorist groups sometimes the rebel groups are fighting for democracy they want to overthrow regimes Funding some rebel groups, you know, whether directly or indirectly, it's not really legitimate. Everyone's a human being, so we all come under the same human rights. Unless we answer what is it that we want, what is it that will be most benefactor for us as a West and world probably, we cannot answer with directness which is the best choice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.